Hi friends and hi grandkids. Uh, this is another step in the series of Yes, God is Real. And God loves us so much and he saved your grandpa at an old age of 62. And uh, when I was saved, I knew that I had to make things right with God and I also wanted to stop sinning. And every time I prayed uh, to uh, God and then to his son, the Lord Jesus Christ, back came a quiet, still voice in my mind that said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And so I tried to look at my whole life and to see anything questionable in my life, uh, to see that I would deal with that and with the help of the Lord Jesus Christ to say no to sin and to walk away from that. During this period of time, I had a cancer that started to grow on the right hand side of my face. It was a black blotch and uh, I went to the doctor and the doctor examined the cancer. They took a biopsy and they uh, said, yes, it is cancer. It needs to be operated on very soon, just in a few days. And uh, we will uh, uh, have to operate. And uh, I had an important business meeting in Florida at that particular time point. And I needed to fly to Florida. And I asked the doctor, would I have time? And he said, yes, go. And then when you come back, we will do the operation. So I flew to Florida and I was just a very young Christian. And uh, I went to a church service in Key Biscayne. It was a very quiet church service. But just prior to that, I had told the chairman of our corporation and also the vice chairman of our corporation that I had become a Christian and that I had asked our chairman, could I attend a church service that morning? And I did not want to perform work that day to keep the day holy. As I was sitting in the congregation, uh, in that uh, little church in Key Biscayne, Florida, uh, there was something behind me, like an audible voice, which said, I have healed you. I turned my head sideways, this way and that way. There were only old people sitting behind me and old people in front of me. No one would have spoken up. It was in the middle of a quiet church service. So it appeared that no one else had heard this voice. Uh, except me. I, I touched the side of my face. The cancer was still there. Uh, I went back to the business meeting and uh, shared uh, with the chairman that I had been healed because I had heard this voice. But he thought maybe that I had lost my mind. On the way home in the airplane, I was praying and I was saying, now God, tell me, tell me, uh, why, why is the cancer still there? You said you have healed me. And I could not understand. And I started reading my Bible in the airplane. And there again, I was reminded by a still small voice, if you love me, keep my commandments. And I said, but Lord, I, I have kept all of your commandments. And then he brought me to a passage in Matthew chapter 5, verse 32. And there it says, but I say to you, whoever divorces his wife for any reason except sexual immorality, causes her to commit adultery, and whoever marries a woman who is divorced commits adultery. And beloved, there God reminded me I was living common law. I was living with a woman that was not my wife. And we had intended to get married, but when I read the scripture, I was in great, great turmoil. I did not know what to do. And so after the plane landed, I called up a local pastor. I asked him, how did he interpret this passage? Did he agree with me that I had to cancel this relationship, which was unholy? And he said, yes, that is what the word of God says. That's what you're supposed to be doing. 
So I called up this dear woman and I again listened to six hours of pain. But I had to do what God had told me to do. And I was very sad. I was extremely upset. But then I also knew I had done the will of God. The following morning I was washing my face and all of a sudden in, uh, in the base, in the wash basin, uh, I saw a black, what seemed like a, a black little animal. It seemed to be glistening, it seemed to be moving, and uh, I couldn't understand. What, was it a black animal that had come up through the pipe, or what was it? And then I looked in the mirror, and as I looked in the mirror, the blotch of black cancer had fallen off my face and was lying in the sink. All there was was baby skin in my face. And beloved, yes, God is real. God is, God is real. He will help you. He will restore your marriage. He will restore your life through his son, Jesus Christ. You can have peace with God. And yes, you can do so through his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ also is real. And he can come into your life and make your life new. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.